Fellas, we are covering Fortnite today because one of the biggest updates is rolling out, bringing us a load of new content. This game is truly amazing, guys, and I hope to see nothing but growth from it and its community. Now, let's talk about what's going down. So, we're finally getting leaderboards. Now, these leaderboards will be split into two types, division leaderboard and friends leaderboard. Now, the division leaderboard essentially is a group of 50 active players competing against each other to see who will take the top spot, and each week you'll be assigned to a new division. This also puts solos, duels, and squads in different divisions. Now, friends leaderboard is just a leaderboard amongst your friends. So that friend that's always hogging all the loot in the squad, you now have a leaderboard to shut him the hell up. All leaderboards will reset every Wednesday, and only players on your platform are included in those rankings. Now, we are finally getting team voice chat for PlayStation and Xbox. If you have a mic and would like to chat with your squad who are present on different platforms, PS4, Xbox One, or even PC, Team Voice Chat is now going live for all of them. This is amazing because personally it's always hell to get some of my PS4 friends into Discord with me. Okay guys, so we got a few gameplay and also some weapon changes that are happening as well. So we're finally getting auto pickup for ammo. I know that's something that was mentioned a while back. I'm so glad to see that. But it's also for ammo, for building resources, and even for traps. All you have to do is just walk over it to pick it up. Now for dropped items themselves, you still got to manually pick those up. If you want to know of any other changes, feel free to look in the link in the description below. Now as far as weapons go, SMGs are finally getting above. Common and uncommon damage is increasing by 1 from 11 to 12. And rares are increasing by 1 as well from 12 to 13. And a decreased reload time of 15% overall. Now this does not include the tactical SMG. Snipers will now leave a visual trail behind and assault rifles will have a reduced accuracy penalty while moving. However, this does not affect the burst or scope rifles. So as far as assault rifles, you can probably do a lot more running gun with them. Now let's talk real quick about the Combat Pro or the controller configuration that's coming to us. Essentially, there's going to be a new controller configuration tab. Now what I'm hoping is that this will allow us to fully customize everything as far as like going to like jumper puppeteer you know kind of like your normal or what you've seen from past controller configurations but essentially even take a step beyond that like if you just want to outright remap every key every function on your controller to whatever you want it to be i hope that it allows for fully uh, customization now as far as what i read it almost sounds like it's not going to be the case but instead they kind of just tweak the way controllers are configured right now um, essentially if they give me jumper I'll be happy I like to jump with my left bumper now some other changes include ps4 and ps4 pro are going back to 30 frames per second cap to maintain smooth experience now nothing has been said about Xbox one on this matter they just mentioned ps4 and ps4 pro however both consoles should be experienced reduced input latency making everything feel much more responsive than before there's also gonna be a target toggling function as in you'll be able to scope in on someone and essentially stay scoped in until you hit that button again to come out of it. It's very Halo-like to me, but I still prefer the ability to go in and out of my sights. Now, something that's really cool that I also read about as well is the Slurp Juice that's coming to us. This is a new healing item that is coming as a regeneration potion. And so essentially, it grants one health and one shield per second for 25 seconds. It can also heal a player up to 100 health. I'm actually really curious about the duration it takes to consume these Slurps. Um, in comparison to like something like you know health kits bandages if it's gonna be something that you can do on the fly or not now some little customization stuff that you're gonna be able to do you can finally customize your own banner as well as change its color and of course you can equip purchase outfits gliders and even pickaxes so a lot of cool stuff that's coming out with patch 1.8 guys there's a lot more that's being included in this but these are the things that jumped out to me I just kind of wanted to go ahead and get a summary of this and put it together I don't normally do patch notes updates for Fortnite. I've only done a couple videos for Fortnite, but I'm a really big fan of this game, and I know you guys are too. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see what leaderboards are going to bring to us uh, because I don't know about you guys, man. Me and my friends are always like just kind of going at it with one another, uh, and every now and then somebody turns the sniper on another one, <laughs> and so shit always goes down. So this is going to be really cool to see not only these leaderboards that are amongst everyone, but also amongst your peers and friends. So it's going to be really cool to see that. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.